Welcome to the Michigan Golfer Show. Join us each week as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great game. Yeah. 
candidate amateur twice and both the Michigan Public Stroke and Match Play Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg Daly.
is up first. Peter Green. Peter is the only author of one of the original in four decades and is the oldest to apply at age 55. He was a three-time All-American in North Carolina. He won the game championship three times, the Michigan medal play seven times, the Michigan senior once, and qualified for 25 USGA championships. He was the game's golfer of the decade, as you might suspect, for the 1970s. Peter Green. Now we're going to get another category. Five time winners. An easy thing to do with it, all you have to do is golf. <laughs> <laughs> Me, I choose to trim hedges every once in a while. Clean the garage. My life is awesome. Glenn Johnson, ladies and gentlemen. Chuck had uh, he had a few matches, didn't you? Well, Chuck uh, was a very unusual fellow. Um, the matches I had with Chuck were in the Red Room Invitation. Bill Poo, my uh, business partner at the time, and I remember the first time I played coaches with Bill. He kind of looked at me on the first tee, and he said, uh, "I think I'll give this kid a lesson." And he birdied the first five holes, I remember that. <laughs> and would you believe that Prue and I beat him, and that was, he was really upset. Chuck Kosas didn't like to lose anything. <laughs> and he always had a partner that was a lousy player. He didn't want his partner to help him at all. And uh, he was upset, as a matter of fact, if the partner won the hole and he was out of it. but. Chuck was a very unusual guy, tremendous competitor, and never talked very much to anybody. He was he was very very silent. He was uh, a, a Tiger Woods uh, type instead of the uh, Roy uh, McElroy type. Well, he was a great player, and uh, it's a funny thing. He uh, I remember we were playing in the Open qualifying at uh, Oakland Hills one day. And he never took his clothes off and changed till he found out what the weather was going to be. And there are times when the weather was bad and he thought it might be a, a, affect his playability that day. He he wouldn't even try and play. He he was so proud of his record, winning the uh, Michigan Amateur. I think every time he played in it, and uh, he protected that. Well, it was like the uh, uh, Michigan medal play. He uh, every time that he played in it, he won it. Yeah, he he was a great player, and uh, I finished second to him at Western in that Michigan medal one year, and that's as close as I ever got to him. But uh, he seemed to have a special technique because his swing wasn't that great. 
Well, he was a, a, a very strong uh, uh, stroke player, and uh, I think that you certainly are, are best known for uh, being such a terrific match player that you could get it up and down and just, uh, you must have enjoyed that. Well, I, I work very hard on the short game because, you know, you, the average player, average good player hit around 14 greens, and uh, I figured if I get it up and down on three of the other four, I'd score pretty well. But there was something about match play. It was highly competitive, and, and I really enjoyed the, the psychology involved in those tournaments, which wasn't there in the, in the medal play by itself. And, it was fun watching the reaction of your opponent and um, when he got what he got upset about and and uh, it, it was a great great time in that match play. Hi, I'm Jack Berry, and I'm at the 100th Michigan Amateur at the Heather Course at Boyne Highlands, and a man who uh, has had good success here and knows the course pretty well is uh, a little white haired now <laughs> wait a minute what, what what's going on more his than, than well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he wanted uh, you wanted Oakland Hills on the north course and guess what it's going back there next year Randy tell us what you've been doing uh, I've been working hard lately I've had um, um, a busy schedule this spring my son graduated high school so we've been busy with that but um, I've been playing a little bit of golf, played the state senior open last week, and so this was my first big test, really, trying to get my game going, and didn't do particularly well today, but it was still fun. The golf course was really great condition, just perfect, really. Well, you've had, uh, uh, you've been a working man through, uh, throughout a lot of your playing career when, when a lot of guys would just be spending all the time on the golf course. Uh, how come you weren't? <laughs> well, <laughs> I wasn't quite good enough to um, not, not work for a living, so, but um, no, I've, I've played plenty of golf. I'm lucky. Being in Alma at our club, we don't have a lot of members, and uh, there's pluses and minuses with that, but, you know, we don't have tee times, and, you know, I can play right after work. I'm, I'm three minutes from the course by golf cart, and so, <laughs> so I, get my, I get my fair share of golf in. Are you a lifer? What time did you, when did you uh, start playing? How old were you? Uh, you know, I didn't start until I was almost 17. So I really wasn't a very good player in college. I became a better player after I got out of school and, and then worked on it through the years. So, Well, uh, uh, Gary McCord was saying the other day that uh, the guys who win the major championships didn't go to college, so <laughs> they went right into golf. So you, yeah. you kind of skipped part of it. Yeah, I kind of skipped the college golf. So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, it's been great. I mean, it's been fun through the years, and I love playing in this tournament. It was really nice to be here, and last night was pretty special with the champions dinner, and that was really neat. So. And what do you think going back to Oakland Hills? Uh, I just hope I can find a way to get my game in shape to qualify to go back there. So, it's not looking too good right now, so I would love to go back. Yeah. I, you know, Oakland's pretty special. I have not been back since uh, I won, so so I'm looking forward to it. Okay, uh, keep working at it and uh, get a little, uh, you know, you've got the gray hair now, so you got the great experience. Yeah, now. it yeah. might as well just turn white at this point. Yeah. I wish it would. So. All, right. All right, thanks, thanks. very much, you Randy. All right. It was good to see, see you. you. Thanks. Yeah. Hi, I'm Jack Berry, and I'm at the 100th Michigan Amateur Championship at the Heather Course at Boyne Highlands, talking to a past uh, Michigan Amateur champion who won uh, down the road, right, at, uh, at Charlevoix. Did you win a Belvedere? At Belvedere, yes, in 1984. That's Roy Schulteis, and he's from uh, the Thumb area. Bay City. Bay, right. Beautiful Bay City yeah. on, on the water. And, and what have you been doing lately? Well, we, you know, besides keeping busy and trying to keep up with my sons who now hit it way past me um, just trying to keep the game sharp that's all but uh, and enjoying senior golf now which is great so well Bill Zilstra has found a career in it yes I know he's uh, he's he and uh, he and Reynolds are awfully tough to keep up with they really are so well that's pretty that says uh, that says good things about Michigan golf and, and about the Michigan players it, uh, there there are so many good players that come out of the state of Michigan you know and 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 they are they are tough to beat <laughs> Very tough to beat. And how old are you now, Roy? Fifty-five. Ooh, you 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 are hitting the mark now. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So I so I have to do a lot more fairways, a lot more greens now. So. Well, now you're a junior. <laughs> you're just starting That's right. Out. That, that's right. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not as old as Reynolds or Zylstra, of course, but don't let him kill them hear that. So, so, but no, it's been, it's been great. It's been great. Terrific. Nice so, talking okay, with you, Roy. Thank, thank you very you. much. No, yep. Thank right. you. Really.
We're at the, at the Heather course at uh, Boyne Highlands. I'm Jack Berry, and I'm talking to Greg Davies from uh, beautiful West Bloomfield, Michigan, where I used to live, and uh, won the Michigan Amateur here a few years ago, beating one of the big bombers in golf, Ryan Brem. Now, how'd you do that? Uh, a lot of fairways and a lot of greens. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a, that, that's the secret in, in golf, and and uh, you that's been your game, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. I, I uh, I've always been kind of a you know medium type hitter, maybe even short in today's standards. So I've got to hit a lot of fairways <laughs> and, and greens. Well, you've had a terrific career both in the public links and and uh, now in in various statewide uh, tournaments and or the GAM. Um, practice uh, during the day if I can. <laughs> Lunch hour practice type of stuff. You know, and I've got three kids now too, so three young kids. Well, you didn't have any. I don't, uh, I the did. last time when you won here. I did not. I have two twins, a uh, uh, boy and a girl that are three and a half, and a little girl at 16 months. Wow. <laughs> now you got the uh, three and a half years old. Have you, have you given them a plastic golf club? Oh, yeah. yeah, they beat plastic balls and you know all over the house and we've got them little putters for the actual putting green at the golf course. So. Well, you know who started out with the plastic club at three? Tiger? No, the guy who just won the uh, won the Open, Rory McIlroy. <laughs> How cool. Hopefully they follow him in, in his footsteps. <laughs> what do you got planned for the rest of the summer? Um, I'll be playing, you know, a full schedule of events like I usually do. I'll, I'll play in the, uh, what's up next, the Michigan Open, then the GAM. Uh, locally we have the Siren, um, and then the Michigan Mid-Am, and try for the uh, U.S. Am and U.S. Mid-Am. Well, you should be uh, familiar with the... Uh, uh, with the Michigan Open at uh, the Orchards, right? Don't you play out of there a little Absolutely. bit? I've played for their Publix team for probably 10 years or 8 or 10 years and know the golf course real well. I think uh, the guys will have a lot of fun out there playing that golf course. Now, that's, a pretty, that's a pretty big course, isn't it? It's about 7,100 yards, I think. Yeah. Um, and it's usually pretty firm and fast, so it plays a little bit shorter, but yeah. it's, a, it's a really fun course. Oh, terrific. We've been talking with Greg Davies, who uh, won the championship here at Boyne a few years ago, and uh, now he's a big family man and uh, still still managing to play a round or two. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. championship for the University of Michigan was, was pretty fun. Uh, we came up a few strokes shy, but it was a great tournament and uh, a great learning experience. Well, you've... Uh, been playing on some good courses, the ones up here, and then Alistair McKenzie course is your home course at the university. Yeah, um, you know, I, as I said, I'm just lucky to be a part of uh, just great programs, great courses, great management. Um, I just, I just feel part of the family here, which is nice. Uh, you feel comfortable having people out there watching you and congratulating you and, and urging you on. So um, it feels a little bit better when you make birdies, but uh, they're also there when you make bogeys to pick up your spirits. So it's it's been good. Well, we, I kidded you a little bit about your Ricky Fowler hairdo. Now tell, tell us how that got started. And, and uh, is Fowler one of your favorites or what? Uh, yeah, Ricky's a good player. Um, I like to think mine's a little better than his, but uh, it works pretty well for him. So I figured I'd, uh, I'd keep it going this week and and see if it made me a little lucky and helped me hit a good shot, a couple good shots. But I don't know if it does. But I'll keep that mindset. Terrific, Joey Garber, the defending champion here at Boyne Highlands, the Heather Course, which he kind of owns. What are some of your memories down at the Warwick Hills, the Buick? Uh, uh, you were six of them. I remember playing there. Um, um, I there was a golf course before that I played too. Elks. Yeah, you know, the Elks Club. Yeah, yeah the Elks Club. That, that was the Good Wrench Open. Yes, yes, yeah. that's right. How far? How long was that? Seventy-five. That was 75? back. Then, well, it was in uh, right when uh, mid seventies when they killed the Buick. The yeah. General General Waters yeah. uh, thought they were getting too too much publicity. Yeah. And uh, it, was, it was. You know what? Michigan is a great golf state. They love their golf. Probably more than any other state. But Ohio's kind of right there. But Michigan, you're nuts. I mean, they're all absolutely nuts for golf. And you've been up north and all before? Yeah, we, we did the telecast 100 years ago. 100 years ago. <laughs> Senior tour event at Grand Traverse. Yeah, Air TBC. Yeah. And I was on the, I was on the uh, CBS golf telecast team there. Nance was, Nance and I, I forgot, I forgot who was on that telecast. We came up and did that. Breathtaking. Yeah. G1. No idea. No clue who it was.
I can't remember last week. Yeah. I absolutely can't remember last week. Was it Chi-Chi? Yeah, I think so. It was the T. Good memory. memory. Yeah. Well, that, that's the only time I've been up here, and then I came up. I like it so much, we can get to Detroit, get a couple of hours or something, we drive up here. I don't know, was it four hours? Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Stay up here for a couple of days and go back. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I have to get you on the pure Michigan commercials. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Any commercial would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Laws of pace. <laughs> Kentwood, 2009 Michigan Amateur Champion, Tom Workmeister. 